Polytank Gawler Cup. 9.50 for Parker Tree, 4.10 Archer Street, 4.40 for Brinda Bella Blue, 6.20 for a number six, Ima Tate. And uh, down the uh, bottom of the weights there, number nine, Bella Jezda at 14, now into $12 and 10 Ministerial King. That's for race five at Gawler. Cram at race six, Writer's Reign at 18, King Lear at $3.20. 23, he's a knight. Receive it us at $8. Cruise on home, 56. Shield Fever at 6.40. Cape Shank at $15 and steady. 25 about Mr. Ruggles. Newcomb Jack, $3.30. And a 16 for number 11, Castle Ray Barra for race six at Cranbourne. Selections there, 1, 10 and 4 from Dan. Almost set now for the Gawler Cup. Race five, here's Ronnie. Wards us, they run away from us past the 1800. A good long run to the 1600 out of the straight. And then they head to the far side. They're off. Mr. Kildane uh, corkscrewed out of the gates. He missed it a couple of lengths or so. Blood Brother jumped well and ridden out with a whip and parquetry showing speed. Sword of Honor's working across, but not as quickly as Ministerial King, who get across them now. And Ministerial King takes up the running. Up there with them, too, in the early part is Bay Tram. Blau Blitz and Grange come across, and so does Sword of Honor. In behind them, right on the pace was parquetry, and they were followed further back behind those by Ima Tate. Next in the field behind that division came Grange around the outside of Mr. Kildane. Ima Tate just back behind those. Archer Street is actually about fourth as they start to sort themselves out and further back Bella Jezda. Brinda Bella Blue is second last and last of all on the inside is Sligo Connection and I would imagine about eight or nine off the lead as they head past the 1200 metre point right now and in that far side of the course in the cup then the leader was still Ministerial King and Nursed. About a half in front, Parquetry second, third Archer Street gets a lovely run. Baytram on its outside and then Blood Brother fifth followed further back by Sword of Honour, the big fellow inside of Blau Blitz. Another length and a half further back, Grange on the outside of Mr. Kildane. Then came Ima Tate, locked away at the moment. Brinda Bella blew around it. Further back, Bella Jezda and last is Sligo Connection on its inside. In that order, they go down the side now and head towards the side turn at the 600, where the leaders are Parquetry on the outside and on the inside, Ministerial King. Wonder Bay Tram has run a forward race. Archer Street, the centre, sort of honour the rail, Blood Brother next. Then came Mr. Kildane, Blau Blitz. Brinda Bella blues off and sweeping around them out wide, and they were followed by Ima Tate taking a shortcut and a further back in the field then came Grange heading the others from Bella Jezda Sligo Connection. The race is on. It's a war up front where Bay Tram has gone with Parker Tree to head Ministerial King. Brinda Bella Blue and Archer Street's into the clear looking for room as Ima Tate and Sword of Honor got there before it though. Bay Tram the leader now from Archer Street on the outside. Brinda Bella Blue starting to run on well. Brinda Bella Blue and Archer Street. Archer Street's a nose in front hanging on. Here's Mr Kildane. Mr Kildane's flying. Mr Kildane might have got there. Archer Street on Mr Kildane, don't know about this, they're fairly wide apart and Brinda Bella Blue's between them. We'll leave this one to the judge. Just in behind those, I'm a Tate frustrated for a run, Bella Jezda flew, Baytram ran a bold race at big odds. Sligo Connection, Blood Brother further back in that division, then came uh, with that horse out wide, Grange from Ministerial King Parquetry and one of the last in Blau Blitz. Well it was going to be Archer Street until the last bound when Mr Kildane, whose recent form has been very, very ordinary, He's had problems fitness-wise. Whether he's got there or not, there won't be much in it. I won't be surprised if he has, and he has, looking at the replay. He will get this, number seven, Mr Kildane. Number seven, Mr Kildane. Well, that's a training triumph for Brian Mueller, who's had problems with this horse. It's not official as yet, but you'll find that he's blown some of the more fancied runners away here in the Polytank Gawler Cup. About a 14 to 1 chance. It's not official, but looking at the free shot there on Sky, he'll get it. By Northern Adventure, Gay Kildane, raced and trained by Brian Muleff and ridden by Wayne Kerf at a last bound victory it'll be. Archer Street is there by Kinski Blazing Noise, Jared Lawrenceini, Ken Sweeney and Brinda Bella Blue by Attalak Deck, The Halls, David Carney, Gary Kennewell. In the order of 725, possibly. It's not official, but looking at the Sky freeze, it does appear as though he has got there as uh, our first thoughts indicated but then allowing for this little angle i thought well we better but just hang in here with this horse on the inside but we're about to get the number he's got it number seven mr kildane in a form turnaround has won the feature polytank gawler cup from number two archer street and third placing goes to number five brinda bella blue the fourth place getter for the pick four is about to be posted to tidy it up and it's number three bay tram at good odds which held on well and fifth placing in the event has gone 
to number nine, Bella Jesda, with Ima Tate jammed in there between them. Seven, two, five and three, official after the Polytank Gawler Cup. Okay, now Warwick Farm updating the market there. It's